Alrighty, here we have this problem of solving tan x minus 3 sin x equals 0 for 0 degrees, um, or for x is between 0 and 270 degrees, and we want to give our answer to one decimal place. So one quick comment before I start this is I did make a video previously on this problem doing a calculator method using the TI-84+. plus, And in that same video, I used an algebraic method that was using the unit circle. But I had a request to also do an algebraic method, but instead of using the unit circle to use the trig graphs. So I'm going to repeat this question using trig graphs. And um, I'll also leave the, um, the other YouTube link in the description if you miss it on the info card. Okay, so here we go. The first step, I would start by solving this first using just sine and cosine. So tangent, we have a formula that says that tan of x is equal to sine x over cos x. So let's substitute that in first, and we get sine x over cos x minus 3 sine x is equal to 0. From here, now that we have a sine in each term, let's factor out that sine. So we'll make this sine x times, what's left here would be 1 over cos x, and then what's left in this term would be minus 3, and then bring down the equals 0. From here, now that we have two things that are multiplied that equal 0, we can set them equal to 0 separately. So we can write this as sine x is equal to 0, and 1 over cos x minus 3 is equal to 0. Sine x is equal to 0 is already solved for the sine x, so we can go directly to the 1 over cos x part. Adding 3 to both sides gives us 1 over cos x is equal to 3. And then now that we have a fraction equaling another fraction, if we write this as 3 over 1, we can flip both sides and get cos x is equal to 1 over 3. All right, so now doing this graphically, we have sine x equals 0. So let's draw the graph of y is equal to sine x using degrees, using x being in degrees. So this is just our basic sine x graph. So sine, let me use a different color, sine of x starts at 0 when x is 0, and then it goes up to its maximum at 90 degrees, back to 0 at 180, then down to its minimum at 270, back to the middle at 360 again. So this would be one period of sine, just the base graph of sine. And then we want to go all the way to 270. Let me go ahead and label that this would be 90. This is 180. This is 270. And this is 360. And since we want to go all the way to 720, let's do one more period. And it's the same shape again, up to the max, back to zero, down to the min, and then back to zero. This would be, if you, each one of these is plus 90, it's one, one quarter of 360. So 360 plus 90 is 450, so this point would be 450. This point is plus another 90, so that would be to 540. Plus another 90 gets us to, this would be 630. And then finally we get to 720 at the end. So just doing the sine of x portion, we can see that it crosses, the graph crosses 0. We're looking for where y is equal to 0. It crosses where y is equal to 0 at, let me use right here, 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 and here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 solutions from the sine graph. And that gets us to x would be equal to, that would be 0, 180, 360, 540, and 720. 
So those are five of our solutions from the sine of x is equal to zero. Next we want to draw the graph y, y is equal to cosine of x. Let me give myself a little more space, here we go. So if we draw the y is equal to cosine of x, we can draw a sketch of that. Let me actually use a line tool this time. There we go. Okay, and cosine starts at the maximum. Let me draw it a different color. Cosine starts at the maximum and then it goes to the middle line, then down to the min, and back to the min middle line, and it ends at the maximum after one period. So one period would look something like this. And by the way, the maximum here is one, and the minimum is negative one, just for reference. So it would have these same numbers. I could actually just draw it up here. Let me do that. So I'll draw it up here, 90, 180, 270, back to the top at 360, and then it will go through again. Middle, bottom, middle, back to the top. Okay, so for this graph, we are looking for where the cosine is equal to one third. So one third, if this is one, and this is zero, then one third would be somewhere here. So if we draw those, uh, the points where it would be equal to one third, that would be like approximately here. Let me use a different color. Approximately here, and then here, here, and here, because we're looking for where it's crossing this y value of one third. So how do we find this first point where cosine is equal to one third? Well, let's use a calculator uh, to finish solving for x, or let's solve for x algebraically by taking the cosine inverse of both sides. Because if we take, let me get rid of this because I didn't use it. If we take the cosine inverse of both sides, Make sure that your, or this will cancel out and leaves us with x is equal to cosine inverse of one over three. Make sure that your calculator is in degree mode so that it gives you your answer in degree mode. Um, and if I put in cosine inverse of one over three, I get that to be 70.5 five rounding to one decimal place because it's 70.52 so we would just keep the five the same since the two is between zero and four okay so that means that the distance here this distance right here would be 70.5 degrees so one thing that we know about all of our trig functions is they're all symmetrical so since we know that this is 70.5 degrees, we can assume that this distance right here would also be 70.5 degrees. So we are going left from 360 by 70.5 degrees. So if we take that 360 and subtract out 70.5, we get 289.5. So that gives us our second solution after 70.5 it would be 289.5. And then the next solution we have is here to the right of 360. So we're going past 360 by 70.5. So let's take our 360, and since we're going past, we would add the 70.5. And that gets us to 430.5 would be one more solution there and then we have this final solution that is 70.5 less than 720 so we can take 720 and because it's to the left we want to subtract out that 70.5 
and that gives us our final solution would be 649.5. So here, just as in the other video that I did, we have nine total solutions. which would be these numbers right here. Those would be all of our values of x. And notice that they're all values between 0 and 720. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody you think would find this information helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar videos. And leave a comment if you would like to have a video done on your homework problem. Thanks for watching.